Welcome guys, welcome to our camp spot for the night, for the day and the night I should say. Uh, my whole mission was just to get out, find a camp spot and enjoy my time camping because it's been a while since I've gone camping and uh, I've just been, I've been itching for it, craving it, wanting it. So I am gonna situate camp. Let's figure that out and enjoy our time out here in the Arizona desert. So there you go, I got camp all set up. That's what it looks like. I wanna do a little walk around. I wanna show you guys uh, what prompted me to make this area my camp spot. So I was looking at the map and I saw maybe like a mile somewhere in that direction or so. It's called Blue Hope Mine. So I think I might do a little hike, uh, but I saw all this stuff. So I saw that, this. Bullet holes. I don't know what that was coming from. And some of these metal things. I did see a little bit of trash. Pick some stuff up later. Not these big old things. Those are, you know, all rusted out. So they're artifacts. Part of the desert now. Here's the road I came on. I'm just somewhere in the Arizona desert. And then over by my camp, uh, there are these. Oh, check 
this out. It's like a rusted, I'm guessing, rusted out gas can. I really didn't want her this way, but cool. Looks like a little piece of that chimney. So I ended up looking up, since I have a little bit of reception, um, if when the solar eclipse was going to happen in my area. Now, I wasn't going to see the whole thing, but I knew a partial was going to happen. Um, I ended up missing it. So, whatever. I'm just uh, going to walk around a little bit. There's some little trash around that I'm just going to pick up. I also have been debating if um, I want to do a campfire. You can see there was a former uh, fire ring right here. I was thinking about fixing it up and doing a fire, but like, I don't even know. I'm kind of not in the mood for it. Just kind of want to chill. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm, I don't know. That's still up in the air. So I'm putting my hiking boots on. Um, I was looking on the map and I want to go check out Blue Hope Mine. I have a feeling there's going to be nothing there, but I mean, I'm so close to it. Why not, right? And I figured that'll give me time to debate uh, if I'm going to do a campfire tonight or not. Well, I am at where the marker says Blue Hope Mine was. There ain't a whole lot of nothing out here. I figure where I'm camping, since there's all those uh, rusted out metal things, they had some structure there to help with the mine that was right here. But yeah, there ain't nothing over here. I feel like maybe if I go that way, I might see something. Let me grab my tripod and head over that direction. Nothing but desert. So I figured I'd just walk over to like this mountaintop. Part of me is debating hike up it. Doesn't seem that bad. I don't think it'll take that long. Maybe if I get closer to it, I can make that judgment call. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. We're going up there. The view from up here is freaking beautiful. And it wasn't that bad coming up here either. You can see my camp from here. All right, so if you take a look, my camp is whoosh, right here. And then where it says the mine was is about like somewhere in this area, like right here. So it wasn't that far from camp. 
there's zero evidence. You would never know that there was a mine here um, if it wasn't for my map saying there was. There is not a soul in sight, and I'm loving this. Talk about serenity, peace, quiet, being out in nature. Like, <clears throat> this is what I needed, man. I've been craving this. Even when I go out exploring, like, yeah, it's cool. Get to have fun, get out, you know, do the thing. But camping in the middle of nowhere where there's like nobody around, nothing around. If you've never done it, you're missing out. All right, I'm gonna head back to camp and chill. That is the temperature right now. The highest it did get was 73. I just, I kept forgetting to tell you guys, so there you go. So, let's see what time it is. 2.30. Still keep flip-flopping, fire or no fire. It got windy. I have just been chilling in my tent since it ever got windy, about it like an hour or so it should go. I'm getting hungry, man. Luckily, so I'm making tacos tonight, just beef tacos. I, I wanted to keep it simple. But man, the wind. I don't know how this is gonna go. I quickly just uh, changed, I decided to put my sweatshirt on since, you know, with the wind, it does get a little chilly. Now, it looks like the sun is, broke through the clouds, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start prepping everything, and luckily the only thing I have to cook is the beef, so hopefully that'll go well. All right. <clears throat> actually kind of nice I decided even before the wind kicked in I'm not gonna even bother uh, with the fire because you know I'd have to make the ring and do all that and now that it's windy it's like it was calling for me not to uh, make a fire tonight today I will say I did check the wind or I did check the weather and it has a little wind thing the wind is supposed to die down around sunset. So that's good. So I should get a good night's sleep. All right, let's start prepping this food. That actually went better than expected. I ended up moving the table from this side over to this side because the wind is coming from over here in this direction. So wind blocks, so that actually worked out fine. Um, one thing I did forget is my tapatio, my hot sauce, which is all right. I have everything else. This looks freaking delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy my food and 
I'll probably catch you guys at sunset. Hopefully the clouds will break a little bit, so we'll get a nice sunset. Um, and we'll see. So I'm just out here enjoying the sunset. The wind has all but died down. There might be a light breeze and that's kind of it. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen, man. The second the sun set, I knew the wind was just gonna completely die down, if not completely stop. All right, so I made it inside the tent. I'm in here now, the sun is all but down. You can take a look. There's just, uh, you know, that last little trail of light, it'll be gone within the half an hour. But uh, this is where I'm going to not leave you, but I'm going to call it a night and I'll see you guys at some point in the morning tomorrow. All right, the sun is up, I am up. Uh, it was a beautiful night, so the wind completely died down at night, so it was perfect. Slept like a baby. I could actually hear coyotes at certain points in the night, so I was like, ooh, that's a little interesting. Gotta keep an eye out for that. <laughs> so I did check the weather last night because I have a little reception, and I saw that it is gonna get windy in the afternoon, just as windy as it was yesterday. So I'm going to enjoy my tea and maybe in like a half an hour I'll make my breakfast so I don't have to worry about the wind. And then I'll just enjoy my little time and then I'll pack up before the wind really kicks in and get out of here. Oh, before I forget, it is, um, it says it's... 51.4 degrees Fahrenheit outside with 30% humidity. I think when I got up last night, I think the coldest it got was around 47. All right, I will see you guys when I start cooking breakfast. All right, so I'm getting ready for breakfast. Uh, I just washed everything and man, are my hands freezing. So I'm waiting for them to warm up just a little bit before I start cutting everything up. But as you can see, I had to move my table over here because the wind is coming from that direction. And it has picked up a little bit. I was kind of hoping to wait a little bit longer to make my breakfast because I'm really not hungry right now, but the wind's only gonna get stronger and stronger as the day progresses. So I figured might as well just make everything now.
Okay, so the wind changed directions on me as I was cutting up the potatoes. So I did have the table right here. And I moved it over here. Kind of pretty much where I had it last night when I was cooking. Because the wind was coming from over this direction. And then it, it shifted and now it's coming from this direction. Which now that the sun's up and it kind of warmed up a little bit, it's really not that bad. Let's see what the temperature says. 58 degrees. All right, I'll take it. All right, I'm going to finish cutting up the garlic, veggies. And yeah, just cut. So that is my breakfast. Um, it was interesting cooking in the wind, but it all worked out. It looks delicious. I know it's gonna be delicious because I've you know, i made it so many times before, but I am breaking one of my rules and that is bringing food inside the tent. I'm trying not to do that, you know, bugs and all that stuff. But anyways, it's so windy outside that there's no way I can really enjoy my food. Uh, outside. So I'm just going to eat in here. All right. I'll see you guys a little bit later. The wind has been nothing but picking back up. Or I should say it's been getting uh, more windier and windier, I guess. And it is 10 a.m. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> so I am happy that I cooked when I cooked because even then it was windy. And now it's just getting windier. So I don't gotta worry about that. So I'm just gonna start cleaning up um, some stuff. I still wanna hang out, I don't wanna leave yet. Maybe I'll leave in like two hours. I've just kind of just been chilling in my tent because it's so windy. Uh, all right, let's wander outside. Take care of some dishes, do a few things. Oh, here, check it out. So the top temperature is outside, the bottom temperature is inside. Okay. Oh, this. Put this here. So, uh, funny thing is, on my last camping trip, so a couple camping trips ago, I I took the spikes out of 
this tent. I took them out of the bag because a bunch of them bent and I was like, when I get home, I'll fix them. And then on my last camping trip, I totally forgot to put them back in. Luckily, there was no wind. I am so happy I did not forget them because, I mean, the tent would have just collided in on me. All right, I'm gonna start cleaning up some of the stuff, dirty dishes, whatever. So I don't gotta worry about that stuff. And go from there. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna be getting out of here just like normal. I appreciate you guys. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, guys, take care.